This video is one of a series numbered 1 to 8, which cover the basic concepts of the primary mathematics curriculum. There are two sets of supporting materials. One is the Maths Mesh Guide, a summary of research knowledge and pedagogical knowledge. The second is the Numeracy for All booklet, showing in detail how to make and use the resources mentioned here. Where possible in the video showing the making of resources, we've tried to use resources that are available freely. Either they're waste materials or they're locally sourced sets and so on, things from the environment. But inevitably, you're going to need to buy some things. Um, for example, you'll need to have some sellotape, pencil, rubber, if you're going to make mistakes, a ruler for measuring, marker pens, string, possibly some plastic string because that's very useful and very strong, a hammer, for making holes in the bottle taps and nails. Depending on which country you're in will influence the locally sourced materials and waste materials available. So what we have here is not a complete list. I'm sure you can think of other things where you are. But common materials that should be available in most places, things like cardboard, small boxes, waste paper, banana fibre possibly, which is very useful for making string, Sticks and stones, corks, bottle tops, whether they're plastic ones or metal ones, toothpaste tubes and the boxes that they come in, uh, milk bags, juice cartons, plastic bottles, tins and so on. OK, as well as some of the waste materials that we've been looking at that you can use to make resources, there's also things in the local environment that can be used. So, for example, sticks, stones, shells depending on where you um, where you live uh, leaves all sorts of matter like that banana fiber also is very useful for making um, string for if you're threading bottle tops or for using for measuring and so on uh, sometimes it can be quite a tall order if you've got a very large number of children in your class to collect these resources but the children will be very happy to do it for you so they can be encouraged to bring in uh, resources to bring in start collecting bottle tops and then why not get them to make their own resources, to write the numbers on the bottle tops, and then they can start keeping a collection of their own resources in their desk, so they're there ready to use whenever they need them. Okay, bottle tops, gonna to talk about bottle tops. Fantastic resource, come in all different uh, sizes. So for example, this is quite a large one, which is very good because you can write large numbers on it. It's a jar top. Then there are plastic bottle tops of varying sizes, varying colors. You have the metal ones that are the screw top ones that are quite nice and deep, make good counters. And then the uh, metal bottle tops on the top of glass bottles. So you can put different things on them. So you could use them, for instance, you can put symbols on them and the children can build up calculations using them. Fractions, shapes, uh, numbers, and then pictorial dots, that sort of thing. So for instance, you've got seven and then you have the number on the back there. Okay. More detail about the resources in this video and others can be found in this booklet, Numeracy for All, Resources for Teaching Mathematics, a guide for teachers and trainers on how to make and use low cost or no cost teaching and learning aids to encourage active and playful learning for maths in the classroom. Go and teach some maths. These videos are from a partnership between VSO International and the MESH Initiative. Both organisations have a commitment to share knowledge freely around the world for the benefit of teachers and learners. Yeah.